Hey guys, what's up? It's Uncle Zonky. So the new Revolution update came out today, so what is a better time to go test it out and see how well this works? If you don't know what Revolution is, it's uh, a basically new combat system that allows it, the game to use your basic abilities for you um, in order of how you line them up in your action bar. It does not use uh, thresholds or ultimate abilities, however, so if you want to use those in combat, you can use them and it won't turn the system off or anything, so this isn't like momentum. There were also some changes to momentum that I'll talk about in just a second. Um, but the first nine slots in your action bar, basically it's highlighted down here in my action bar. You can tell that Revolution is on because they're highlighted with a yellow outline. Um, so we will only use these four basics here. And I figured I would try it out on my Slayer task and see how well it works and then give you guys a short little synopsis of it. So if you want to know how to turn Revolution on, you just want to press the F4 button to go into your combat. Uh, settings, then just you know, click on combat settings and you can select full manual, which is basically how combat was. Uh, you can select revolution, which is what I'm testing out here, and you can select momentum. And the difference between momentum is it is buffed, so it now does more damage, and you also gain adrenaline while using momentum, and you can use ultimates with momentum, and it won't turn off momentum. So, uh, for example, if you were doing a Black Demon's task with range, you wait till your adrenaline builds all the way up to full and then you use the death swiftness ability and you can still use that with momentum to give yourself extra damage or for example if you're a melee and you would use the berserk ability or if you're using mage you would use the sunshine ability while you're momentuming so i'm going to try out momentum um, as well just probably in a different video or later off just on my own so let's go down and try this black demons task and before we start in the black teams, before I get any comments, I am fully aware that I am using Royal Bolts. I have no plans on doing combat today. This was just a spur of the moment thing. I'm just going to be down here for a few minutes, and I didn't have any Ascension Bolts in my bank. That is why I'm using Royal Bolts. All right, so here are the Black Demons, and let's see how this works. So just pot up, attack the Black Demon, and look at that. I don't even have to use basics. That is so cool. So this is going to make combat quite a bit easier. Um, if you are like me and you slay for all day, for a long time, um, there are times when your hands just get really tired and sore. And it becomes pretty difficult to, uh, you know, click for hours or ability spam for hours and hours on end. So with that in mind, uh, you can now use momentum, which is a lot easier. And I do not have Winter Swords selected. Uh, on my pack yet. That is a fail. But anyway, and you can also queue these abilities. For example, if you want to use rapid fire, just press the A button and your character will use rapid fire on the next um, on the next monsters. So that's pretty cool as well. It means uh, basically you don't have to s click on a monster and immediately start spamming the A button. Um, once that A button is pressed or whatever your button is for rapid fire, once you have pressed it once, your character will use it on his next shot. So that's another pretty awesome ability, I think. And I am getting double XP because I believe I yeah I have my um I have my combat XP right now set to range, and my range right now is doubled. So I'm not still getting double XP from the bonus XP weekend or anything. So I just want to make sure this is on special move. There we go, and bank some ashes, making some money. All right, I'll take it. Anyway, um, I guess I'll try this out for a little bit and tell you guys how well it works, if there's any seriously flawed mechanics you need to know about, um, and just if this is a really viable option to slay now, or do any combat with. Okay, so after a bit of killing, um, I guess I have a little bit of an opinion to formulate on Revolution. I haven't been here for very long, it's only been about five minutes, so there still are lots of things to be discovered about how this new combat system works, and uh, the best ways to utilize it, of course. But what I have found out so far is there is a slight delay um, between attacks. I'll try to show you what I mean. So your character will use an ability. Right there he could have used one, but no, he hesitates like a second, and then he uses it. So what that means is you're going to have like a full half second or so, maybe even one second pause between using abilities when you could have been using the next ability already. Um, and you didn't have that in the regular combat system where you can just spam and the second an ability highlights it will immediately be used. So what that means is this will be slightly slower uh, damage per second. It won't make a huge deal if you are, it, it won't make much of a difference at all if you are, um, you know, doing a slayer task where the creatures have really low hit points and you don't have to deal a whole lot of damage to kill them and you don't have to use many abilities to kill them. But definitely in PVM situations where you want to be doing the maximum 
amount of damage per second or where it's really important to be using as many abilities as possible in the shortest space of time as possible I still feel like the regular combat system is still better um, so that's just my opinion but uh, yeah just keep that in mind this is probably you know just slightly slower damage per second than the regular combat system and there's not really a whole lot you can do about that um, I think it's fair in all honesty because this is definitely a lot more relaxed a lot less ability spamming than the combat system so um, it shouldn't really be the same speed since it's so much easier. Usually when things are easier and more AFK, uh, they're slower XP per hour, and so that seems fair to me to have that. But uh, I just wanted to make sure you guys were aware of that. And other than that, um, this revolution is really nice. You just can sit back, and it's a lot more AFK. Um, you still have to use your thresholds and uh, ultimates, of course, whenever they're highlighted. But other than that, it's extremely, you know, AFK, not a whole lot of uh, attention needed on your part. If you are killing monsters with, like, really low HP, this isn't the best example. Um, but something like Aberrant Spectres, you can just use basics against them. You don't even need thresholds because they have such low HP. So you can just completely um, not even have to use any abilities at all that task and still get not quite as good, but almost as good DPS as if you were using uh, the regular combat system. But anyway, that's about my review for Revolution, so let me know what you guys think about the update and if you'll be using this or the new Momentum um, or even the regular combat system. If you're a PVMer, in my opinion, you should be using the regular combat system. And if you're like a Slayer who does a lot of Slayer and isn't, you know, super stressed about maximum experience power, you should be using Momentum or Revolution. But anyway, um, it's time for me to get onto Livid Farm and work on that comp cape. So good luck, guys, and see you on my friend's chat. Farewell.